Okay, so here's the update that I've been waiting for. A lot of people watched the video I put out earlier in the year about exams being cancelled and we were in this weird situation where GCSE exams had been cancelled uh, but perhaps IGCSE exams hadn't been cancelled. Um, so at least in the UK that put us in this strange situation that made it look like maybe, uh, you know, private candidates or uh, private school candidates would be allowed to sit exams or would have to sit exams. Some people thought that was a... Uh, that they wanted to sit exams, some people thought they really didn't want to sit exams and everyone was saying it was unfair in different directions. But we have now, I think, got a resolution to this. Um, the sensible thing has happened and the uh, exam boards have basically said that here in the UK, uh, all of the uh, summer exams are going to be based on teacher assessments uh, instead of uh, actual uh, exams now. So here is the announcement from Cambridge International. Uh, CIE exams for the summer series uh, have uh, been uh, cancelled in countries where there are uh, restrictions that mean that mean exams can't go ahead or where in the UK you know we have all the other exams are cancelled so they're cancelling them here. Now a lot of people watch this uh, overseas uh, and what I'd like to say here is that CIE have not cancelled the summer exams in countries uh, where they can still go ahead. So as it says here you can see uh, in all other countries which represent about 90% of entries we are planning for exams to go ahead and we've created extensive extra measures to support schools with this. So of course I can't go through every single country and tell you what's happening in uh, in each of them um, but if you're sitting CIE exams around the world you might expect um, that those are still going to go ahead here but certainly here in the UK they're going to be replaced with uh, teacher assessments. And you can read a lot more about the details of that here, but that is uh, absolutely the headline here. So I expect that to cover the CIE, the IGCSC, um, and uh, any of the A-level uh, exams like the pre-U's as well um, would uh, fall under Cambridge International. So this seems to cover all of those. And uh, Edexcel, uh, Pearson Edexcel um, put this out earlier and on 3rd of February they said something uh, very similar here. In fact, they're saying that their IGCSEs are not going to go ahead at all in the summer series, uh, but they're going to offer an extra exam series later in the year for people that want to take them. That doesn't mean you have to wait till later in the year to take the exams. If you want to take the teacher uh, assessed grades, the centre assessed grades uh, this summer, you'll be able to do that. So um, the thing I'll say here is that regardless of uh, whichever exams you're taking, uh, this doesn't mean stop working, although exams have uh, have been cancelled, there will still be these uh, centre assessed grades, so your teachers and your schools will have to come up with a procedure to allocate you grades. And I know the details of this are still being finalised, so we don't actually know yet what the outcome of that is going to be, but it'll be something a bit like last year where centres will be uh, you know, allocated a certain number of each grades and uh, and so there'll be some sort of uh, moderation on a national level um, but your teachers will have to provide evidence uh, of all of that as well. Um, here on the Edexcel page another question I get a lot is about private candidates and you can see there's a section here on the page that talks about private candidates and um, it does say somewhere here um, that, uh, oh yeah, here we go, so we're still uh, awaiting the outcome of UK Ofqual consultation about how grades will be issued, um, which will include specific consideration for private candidates and is expected in the week commencing 22nd of February 2021. So if you're a private candidate, I'm afraid you're just going to have to wait it out just a little bit longer. At the moment, it's not clear. Um, uh, how they're going to deal with that but uh, you should just be continuing to go ahead as normal so if you need to register for, with centres and things uh, where you would have taken the exam still get in touch with those still um, still go through those processes if you have to and then um, at some point uh, the arrangements will be made clear. I worked with a, a private candidate last year in conjunction with a uh, with a test centre and it all worked perfectly fine in the end and um, they still registered with their centre as usual and they put in place some measures for them to take the exams. Now that's not always the easiest thing to do but um, you know there, there there may be possibilities. Anyway the point here is we can't really say anything for sure about that at the moment so I don't want to say anything that is, is, is wrong here. Okay so um, headlines here though um, we've definitely got um, cancellation of exams. Uh, here in the UK that means basically all exams uh, for the summer series are going to be cancelled. The one that I haven't heard about yet, uh, by the way, is the STEP exams. I know a lot of people that watch this channel do STEP. It still says on the STEP website at the moment the final details for STEP 2021 
this is the Cambridge uh, maths entrance exam, including the dates have been delayed while we assess the COVID situation. My gut feeling is that STEP will do their very best to make this exam go ahead. It's a very small exam, not many people take it. Don't see any reason why that exam shouldn't be able to go ahead in schools as normal, to be honest. So my, my best guess, and it really is just a guess, is that STEP might be one of the few, very, very few exams that could still happen uh, this, this summer. Um, but we'll have to see and we'll have to see what um, uh, things they put in place around fairness uh, around that if you've um, had any sort of um, difficulties uh, preparing things like that I'm sure they will be trying to put some things in place for that but we'll wait and see um, anyway that's the headlines as it says you know teacher assess grades are going to be happening this summer we don't really yet know exactly uh, how that is going to pan out but there'll be some sort of uh, you know do expect to still have to know uh, what's in the courses you're studying at some point they will probably be a little bit of leniency this year uh, and I think it'll be perhaps slightly easier to get the various grades than usual but I wouldn't expect a huge shift from that okay so you know if you want to get a 7 or an 8 or a 9 or whatever you're going for in your GCSEs you can expect it might be a fraction easier but I think it's only going to be someone who you know might have got a you know might have been in the top half of the six grade boundaries before might be given a seven on the as, as the benefit of the doubt that they're not going to go crazy uh, with making these uh, things overly generous because at the end of the day it still has to be a qualification um, that is respected and you know nobody wants uh, nobody wants uh, exams and grades where uh, employers and universities and people will look at them and say well this doesn't mean anything so they have to keep a level of robustness to this and they can't you know start giving away top grades to everyone just because um, uh, that uh, we've had these adverse conditions there will be a measure of fairness as I say but there also still has to be a measure a measure of rigor in terms of making sure that someone who's got a GCSE in maths can actually do uh, a little bit of maths okay so there we go. I hope that's covered everything. I think um, that's all I know at the moment anyway. Um, exams in the UK cancelled across the board and uh, with perhaps one or two very, very few exceptions, we'll, we'll see about STEP, etc. Around the world, Cambridge International exams still going ahead in countries where they can, which is most of the countries that they operate in. Do check uh, with your own school uh, if you're somewhere like that. Please don't ask me what's happening in this country, in this country, in this country. I just don't know. Um, but you know, if you're in a place where schools are open and, and exams are allowed to happen, you can expect that that, that will happen. But here in the UK, um, certainly no exams at all. Anyway, um, lots of announcements uh, still to come then about the details of how summer exams are going to work and exactly how teacher assessments are going to work. But the real headline here is uh, keep working. Um, take the chance, if you can, to get some extra work done. If you're in the UK uh, here in lockdown, it's uh, bit difficult to get on with work sometimes at the moment we're out of usual routines it can be hard you know to uh, to get into things so don't put too much pressure on yourself if you're not making as much progress as you thought you might but do still try keep trying to uh, carve out a bit of time to do some work to watch a few videos about maths or to do some practice from the textbook and some extra work I mean it'll really uh, I think uh, people who've managed to uh, get something done in this lockdown will uh, will um, get the rewards of that uh, in, in the future as well and you know whatever qualification you're, you're doing you're still even if there's not an exam you're still preparing for what comes after it so what I'm really hoping here is that you know if you're doing GCSE with a view to A level you realize that you know it's still important that you know what's in GCSE maths so that you're well prepared uh, for A level maths I'm going to be putting out some content later in the year about that transition from GCSE to A level maths uh, as well so watch out for that um, anyway, that's all I've got to say for today. I've had loads of requests for updates on this, so I just wanted to put this out. Now we've uh, got these uh, updates. I was just holding off for CIE to make their announcement like edXL so that we could say this pretty much for sure. Um, I think, you know, after the first announcement came out, it would have been terribly unfair if, uh, you know, private schools could sit the exams and, and, and state schools couldn't or something like that. And, you know, half the people were saying it would be unfair because they had to sit the exams and half were saying, uh, that it was unfair because they weren't allowed to sit the exams and it would all have uh, been a big mess. It is going to be a very unusual situation this summer though because uh, most likely when uh, the, uh, the, the, the exams will be cancelled but by the summer it's very likely to be the case that schools will actually be open. So it is going to be a slightly bizarre situation. We'll have everyone in school, the exams will be cancelled. So, um, so I'm really, you know, my 
huge expectation here is that actually your school is probably going to give you something quite like an exam uh, if you're in school at that point and they have to come up with a grade um, that is for your exams. But we will wait to see about the details of that and we'll see what flexibility different centres uh, have in terms of what they do for their own students. Anyway, um, that's it for now. So uh, stay safe, put in the comments if you've got any other questions. I'll probably put, up an, put out another update on this in a few weeks time once we know a bit more about centre assessed grades and how they're going to work. Um, so let me know if you've got anything, any questions that you don't think I've covered in this video. Otherwise, um, stay safe and um, I will see you soon.